I wanted to ask, starting with our baby, uh, you guys have always reached back to New Orleans and always done your thing. Why is that important to you, man? Just growing up, you know, growing up rough, bro. Just unfortunately growing up and trying to help even at a young age. But we've been doing this since I was like 16, like really a long, like 30 plus years, just giving back just because the way we grew up. So every, as soon as I got a chance to do it, I ain't think twice about it. I never thought twice about it. So um, it mean a lot to me, bro, because I know the struggle. Being from uptown, being one of the kids, unfortunately, coming, coming, coming up. So for me, it's, it's passionate with me. I don't do it for no other reason, but it's from the heart. And just trying to show them youngsters that it's a, it's a way that we can really get out this ghetto. Slim, you guys, uh, during this pandemic, you know, a lot of folks have just been, you know, they shut themselves off. They basically said, look, I ain't doing nothing with nobody, not trying to do anything. How has this worked for you? And why has this been important for you to sort of say, uh-uh, hold up a second, let's do something? Um, you know, like my brother said, we're passionate about this. And that's the city that we love and the people we love there and the people that made us to who we are, you know what I'm saying? And for us, man, you know, to, to see that we could help some people, help people, period, and do what we're doing for the subsidized program. And, and we got other plans to doing other things as well. It's, it's just great. It's just a great blessing, man, to know that, you know, we all, you know, all this, we, we one of the strongest people in this country, man. And, and you know, we built strong. Mm -hmm. So to, to, to know that, we're going through this and knowing that one, we, we'll bounce back from this, man. You know, and we, whatever part we could play in that, we're here to do it, you know. Uh, baby, the foundation's name for your parents. Um, and, and, and that's got to have a, a dear uh, meaning to you as well. Talk to us about that. Um, the Gaddis and Johnny Foundation, that's, man, that's my mom and my daddy. You know, we lost our parents at a young age. So, you know, um, that's something we wanted to start a foundation in their name. And we've been doing it like almost 30 years, approximately around 30 years, um, just giving back, doing a lot with the station, doing a lot in the city. Um, it's just passionate from us, but from heart, really from heart. Just growing up how we grew up, just being uptown with the struggle. Uh, mm -hmm. We really do it from heart, but there's no other words for it. Vernon, um, the effort to put together these various different giveaways has got to have its challenges. I mean, from the uh, the grocery gift cards to now doing the rent thing, how much of a challenge has that been putting that all together? Um, it's, 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 it's a challenge, but it's one of those things that when you know you're helping people, as um, the Williams Brothers has always wanted to do, it's something you don't really think about challenge. You just want to get it done. You want to get help into people's hands. You want them to feel it and see it as fast as possible. Um, you know, this came about because um, the Williams brothers and, and me and Baby had some conversations where he wanted to make sure that housing, you know, he felt like he wanted to give people housing for free. Uh, the initial conversation was he wanted to buy the housing, um, all of the housing units and give it back and, and let people live rent free. And I said, that's going to be extremely complicated to do. Um, but it's a great plan and something we're still discussing on, you know, how, because I think the three things that uh, I hear Slim and Baby discuss for, I've been with them for 23 years and I pretty much, at least the last 10, 12 years, the thing they constantly talk about somewhat on a daily basis is housing, health care, and education. Mm -hmm. Those are the three areas. So this is part of the housing portion. That's a bigger picture, of course. And the healthcare, we've done what we could do um, with the turkey giveaway, of course, with Oshcare and Stanford each year. But uh, both Slim and Baby have some other plans to help with healthcare more. And the current discussions are really centered around getting kids back into school um, and giving them some technology, better Wi-Fi, um, better communication systems, so that they can really excel into the new technology age. So. That's the things I'm talking with um, both of them about. Um, and like I said, this is not something that's just a, a once in a time thing. They, we talk about these things often. Um, it's just getting them working and getting them in, into action. And the mayor's office, uh, Mayor Cantrell and her administration 
has been extremely, extremely helpful. Um, they've been positive. They've been there uh, with Slim and Baby on the phone every day. They've been talking. They've been brainstorming. Um, and I think we're going to see quite a few more things to come out of this in a very positive manner to help people who really need help. All right. There we go. Baby Slim, love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything you do. All right. All right. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.